you're wondering what Google Drive in G Suite is all about? That's great because I'm Chanel Greco from Superis and in this video I'll give you information about Google Drive which is one of the many tools that are part of G Suite. Would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because twice a week I publish video tutorials about the different Google apps that are part of G Suite and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of those videos. Let's start off with answering the question, what is Google Drive? Google Drive is a file storage and synchronization service developed by Google and it was launched back in 2012. Now, maybe you have a free Gmail account or just a simply, uh, simply a free Google account. Well, then you also have free file storage. So you have a free a consumer version of a Google Drive, which you can use. But that's not 100% the same as the Google Drive that is part of G Suite. So Google Drive in G Suite is kind of like the pro version has um, more functionalities. It's a little bit different, although it looks pretty much the same. The second question is, what is G Suite? G Suite is a suite also made up of different apps developed by Google, and it's all about cloud computing, productivity, and collaborations mainly for organizations and schools, but maybe you also might use it as a freelancer if you work on your own. That's also perfectly fine. And I actually have a video where I go in depth on what G Suite is and what's part of G Suite and also the different um, editions that exist. And I'll be linking the video above in the card right about now but I'll also be linking it in the description below so you can have a look at that video afterwards if you prefer. Back to Google Drive as, as a part of G Suite. There's one core difference between the consumer version of Google Drive and the G Suite version and that's the storage size. So in the consumer version, you'll have 15 gigabytes. And if we have a look here at uh, Jane Examples Google Drive. Now keep in mind, this is an, um, a Google, a, a G Suite business account. So this is one of the paid plans, the official paid plans, a G Suite account. And that's why here you just see storage 1.6 megabyte used. That being said, if I were in a normal Google Drive consumer version free, then you would see here how much of the storage of the maximum 15 gigabytes that you get for free has been taken up. On the other hand, on a Google Drive that's part of G Suite, there you have minimum 30 gigabytes per user and maximum unlimited. Can you imagine that? unlimited storage. For me, it's, it's a bit difficult to wrap my head around it, but Google does actually offer that. So that's one core difference. Um, so if you're, if you're coming from a consumer version, this, this looks pretty much the same. You know that you have your files, you have your folders, you can go ahead and share it with people people that are within your organization, but also people who are outside of your organization, or depending on your use case, you might want to share it with anyone out there who has an internet access. You just send them that link and they can access your file folder. And um, for instance, they don't even need to have a Google account for you to share a document with them. So let's go ahead and close that out. Now, in Google Drive G Suite, there is something else that is only within G Suite is not in the free consumer version that is or that are no that is the shared drives. So a shared drive is kind of like it used to be called team drive. Um, and the idea behind it is exactly that, that you can share information with your whole team or with your whole, whole organization or maybe just with a project team, so a temporary team. And um, 
you can add people so I can go ahead and say manage members and then I see all the members of this shared drive and whatever I put in this shared drive so new folders I create new files I create the people that are members of this shared drive automatically have access to these files and folders versus if I go back over to my my drive this always has me tripping my my drive uh, and I create a new document at the beginning no one has uh, rights on this uh, yeah exactly just call it whatever nobody has any rights on this document until I give them accessing permission um, that might be let's give Jane X that's I mean this is Jane example herself but anyway just to show you um, I can give people viewing commenting or editing rights on this document but I have to do so on a per document basis on the other hand if let's cancel this let's go back to share drive if I have a team let's say for a project we're planning a project that's going to take place in six months and I don't want to have to constantly give people access on a per file basis well then just go ahead create a shared drive um, add people as members of this shared drive and then you're good to go it's that easy in Google Drive you have the possibilities of creating folders so I have a folder structure here that I can uh, open and I have my archive and my documents in it and whatnot so that's that's absolutely okay you might be a very structured person and you like to use it like so I do too perfect but keep in mind it's a Google project a uh, product what did Google become famous for search and so you have a very powerful search here in Drive. And something that a lot of people haven't noticed, there's an arrow that you can click on here. Huh, there you go. And you can filter your um, search um, by the type of documents, the owners, um, the location, date modified and whatnot, or follow up. So this is great for collaborating. For instance, let's say you have um, 10 documents that you're collaborating on with other people and they're adding suggestions and comments and stuff like that and you just want to um, see all of the documents where let's say you have to follow up on something there's a suggestion that you want to um, either accept or decline well then you can go ahead and filter right here in Google Drive so that's super easy you already saw how you can share files from here you can create new files from from Google Drive either through here or by clicking on this big new button you see this icon here you can have documents offline so make them offline accessible so that you can keep on working in these documents even if you don't have an internet connection so there's a lot to Google Drive this is just to give you an overview and also to tell you that yes there is a difference between the consumer version of Google Drive and the G Suite version of Google Drive if you have any questions concerning Google Drive please leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you and do remember to subscribe to this channel so that um, I can keep, keep you up to date with Google Drive and all the other apps that are part of G Suite.